Hello and welcome. I wanted to make a quick video about sheep in Farming Simulator 22. Noticed a lot of the guides don't really go into a whole lot of detail. So hopefully I can bring a little bit more detail into how sheep actually work in Farming Simulator 22. So starting out, we'll talk about how much one sheep produces and eats. So one sheep will eat 50 liters of food. It does not matter if it's grass or hay it's always 50 liters so they will produce 42 liters of wool after 18 months so before 18 months there's a kind of a growth period if you will so it's not until 18 months that they start producing the maximum amount of wool each month which is 42 liters so there is a five month reproductive state does not matter what type of sheep it is it could be any type of sheep two sheep equal one sheep after five months so long as they're old enough which I think is eight months so after 36 months they'll reach their maximum selling price which is a thousand in normal economic difficulty it goes up in $25 increments all the way up to 36 months which is a thousand so to give you an idea one sheep produces about a thousand one hundred dollars worth of wool and then if you take that through productions, um, it's about $1,700 worth of fabric and about $2,300 worth of clothes is what one sheep will produce in one year. Um, in total, one sheep will, consumes about 600 liters of food a year. So just things to, you can write down, I'll, I'll have them in the description too, so you can copy and paste and put them somewhere safe, wh wherever you need them. So let's get into the pins. So the first pin is the smallest pin. It holds 15 sheep. It holds 3,000 liters of food and 1,500 liters of water. Uh, they do consume 20 liters of water per sheep. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, in total for the year, they'll consume about 9,000 liters of food or about 750 a month. Um, but they'll produce 630 liters of wool each month. Uh, or about 7,500 liters a year is how much this pen will produce. So if you want to break it down and to figure out the profits, what to expect. So for the smallest pen, they'll produce about $1,386 worth of wool each month. That's about $16,600 a year. So if it's just straight wool, that's what they'll produce. So, if we get into fabric, uh, they produce about $2,173 worth of fabric, or about $26,000 a year if you uh, take it through production and turn it into fabric. Uh, going f either further down close, it's about $2,900 a month for worth of clothes and about $35,000 a year worth of clothes that this pen will produce. Okay, Just giving you an idea of what kind of profits to expect. So if we go to the medium pin, uh, it's priced at 51,000, it holds 25 sheep. Uh, it holds 45,000 or 4,500 liters of food. Uh, all 25 sheep will consume about 15,000 liters of food a year or 1,250 liters a month of food but it'll produce about a thousand fifty liters of wool per month uh, totaling twelve thousand six hundred for the year so to break it down profit wise what to expect if you keep it just wool you're looking at twenty three hundred dollars a month or twenty seven thousand seven hundred a year if you turn it into fabric you're looking at thirty six hundred a month or forty three thousand a year and then if you turn it into clothes, you're looking at $4,800 or $58,500 per year. So that's the max you can make with this, uh, with this pin. So we're going to go on to the third and final pin, which I think is the biggest bang for your buck. So for the pin three, it's $97,000. It gives you 65 sheep. It holds 11,500 liters of food, and the sheep will consume 38,400 liters of food a year, 
or three thousand two hundred and fifty per month. Okay. So they'll produce two thousand seven hundred and thirty liters of wool a month or thirty two thousand seven hundred and sixty liters a year. So to break it down profit wise for the third pin, for wool you're looking at about six thousand dollars a month for uh wool and then about seventy two thousand for out for the whole year. So for fabric, you're looking at about $9,400 a month worth of fabric or $113,000 for the year. For clothes, $12,600 a month or $152,300 for the entire year. So with the biggest pin, you know, you're looking at $152,000 in total profit. So if we look at the production chains, uh, something to keep in mind about the production even with the biggest pin you still cannot max out the production so if we look you'll notice that the fabric for the wool is a thousand four hundred and forty cycles per month so that means it requires two thousand eight hundred and eighty wool per month to make the one thousand four hundred and forty fabric if you noticed the largest pin you only produce 2730 liters of wool so that means if you put it through production you're only going to get 1365 uh, liters of fabric per month okay <coughs> um, so if you take that even further and take it to the close um, you can see it's 1080 cycles per month so that means they want 2160 liters of fabric um, to get that number but again we only have that 1365 that we're producing at the spinnery so that means we'll only get 682.5 liters of clothes per month but that's okay because that still comes out to $152,334 by the end of the year if you save it all and sell it at its highest selling point um, in case you're curious, if you do max out the production, if you do have a couple pins, the maximum production that the tailor shop can make is $160,700 a year. So that's how much one tailor shop can make if you sell it at the highest price. Okay. So really, that's it. Uh, hopefully there was some information in there that really helps you out. I'll list all those prices in the description as well and uh, that way you can copy and paste them and put them anywhere you need to kind of have that information handy okay so hopefully that helped you uh, if you think I missed something or you think I made an error please let me know down in the comments if you liked it please leave a like uh, really helps me out and then um, yeah thanks for thanks for sticking around and watching